Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to use find an update feature to update or create massively an undo action with a notification email. How many times you have been requesting to create a notification email for my job based on a specific string or error that is found in the, in the output of the job. This configuration can be done from the actions tab, undo actions, here we select the specific statement output. Here we put the any statement for, for the job. And for the code, we, we put the pattern or the string that we want to find in the output. Then here we select the destination to the email. OK, so this is something that can be done really quickly from the properties of the job. But now let's imagine that you are requested to do this for for all the jobs uh, for, a spe for an a specific uh, application. And let's say that that application uh, contains hundreds or even thousands of jobs. So doing this kind of uh, task uh, job by job could be something that can be really difficult and you need to spend a lot of time doing this. OK, so in order to create massively uh, this kind of email notification for uh, hundreds or thousands of jobs, we can use the Find an Update feature. So let's go to the Find an Update uh, feature. Here we have two sections. The one above is the section uh, that we will use to find the jobs we want to, to edit or to update with that email notification. And uh, the section below is where we need to, to configure all the settings that we want to, to add to those jobs. Okay, so here we have the server. Uh, this is a, a filter. You can you can select a specific control server that you have in your environment. In this, in this case, we are going to leave it like that. In this case, it applies for any server in our environment. Okay, so now let's add another filter. In this case, since we need to add these kind of settings to the jobs that belong to the to a specific application, in this case, we are going to select the, the application. Uh, for our uh, exercise, we are going to do this for the payroll application. Uh, the find button here, uh, we will find or we will see how, how many jobs are, are found. With this, with this criteria, okay. In this case, we seven jobs have been found that accomplish with this kind of criteria. Okay, now let's let's add what will be the settings to the email notification for all these jobs. Okay, so let's go to the section below. In this case, uh, we are going to add a, an undo action. So here we need to go to the actions. Let's go to the undo actions, and the first things to add will be the on statement. Okay. OK, so in this case, here we need to change the update by add because these jobs they don't have any any action uh, yet. So here we are going to add the, in this case, what will be what will be the statement. In this case, we'll, we'll select an, an asterisk for the statement of the job. And then we need to add what will be the the pattern or the string that we want to, to find in the in the output. In this case, in this case we are going to, to set this kind of word. Now here we have the on statement, and now we need to do what will be the uh, undo action or the do action. In this case, we are going to to add here in this case the do uh, statement. So here we need to do the notify email. Okay, here we have the the option. Okay, so now we need to to add what will be the the criteria or the settings for the email notification. In this case, we have the two. The two value for here we we will we'll put the the email account we want to send this kind of notifications because we are going to put this one for our purpose okay also we can uh, put an if we want to to do like a, a co uh, to copy a, an email account for that we can also add in this case we are going to uh, omit this but uh, we can uh, configure the subject for that email so in case here we're going to put like Let's say that we want the subject has the the job name, okay? Has error, and in this case the pattern or the string that we need that we are going to to find in the in the output, okay? And then we can also add what will be like the message for for that email, okay? So we want error and the error uh, the corresponding error found in the job. Okay, so also we can add uh, what would be the urgency for this email. We need we need to set it to be the origin in this case. Also, we we can uh, we can also uh, 
add uh, if we want to attach the uh, the output to the email okay in this case we are going to select that we also want to add that okay so if we if we hit the update uh, button all the jobs in this case the seven jobs that were found here will be updated or or, or this or this setting will be out to those jobs okay so let's see what happened when when we hit the update uh, button okay so as you can see here uh, the the updates were done on those jobs so you can see here the the validation status in this case was valid for all of them so if you if you select one, one of any jobs uh, from this window you can see that the corresponding uh, a statement or on do action has been uh, uh, added successfully okay so you can review this for any all the jobs also from here you can see that the corresponding uh, email notification has been added according to the to the criteria that we use in the final and update uh, feature that concludes this control m solutions video the workload automation support team looks forward to helping you if any assistance is needed